Welcome to our version of Wonderland. It's really fun. <laughs> we had a good time just putting this together today because we didn't realize how much shit we have. I just like sitting here. Like, this is all of our shit. <laughs> it's so much fun. And these little books. They're real. You can read them. I can't because they're so small. <laughs> I couldn't, I'm like, what book is this? <laughs> oh, that's what I need for next time. I have one. Yes. It's very little. Oh no, I need a big one. I need the opera glasses. <laughs> yes. So, we decided that we wanted to um, take you guys down the wonderful hole of uh, our wonderland because uh, we have just so much going on in our head and we just want to be able to share it with everybody else. Yeah. I always wanted to go to Wonderland and I think that Wonderland exists. I definitely think that, uh, <laughs> Wonderland exists, but... Uh, Maybe not like exactly Wonderland, but... Other... Just like, you mean like a parallel world? Yes. Oh, so do you believe that there's a parallel world? Yes. Huh. Many. Okay. Yes, I do. And so what makes you believe that? Just because you want to believe or because, like, things have happened or... I don't know. Okay. So... I said it. <laughs> so... Okay, so we have listened back to some of our uh, podcasts. We realized some things that we say a lot of, like, I say like a lot. I also say, uh... I don't say, uh, I say, so... <laughs> so... <laughs> We're working on these things. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay, um, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh! The parallel world. Yes. So I'm feeling good with Eddie. I did ask a question one time. Do you... Asking the people, Daddy and Jake... Bushnell on Feeling Good with The Daddy. people. <laughs> <laughs> the people. You know, on Feeling Good with Daddy. <laughs> Those people. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and I asked, <laughs> um, I can, do you believe that, it, that there's a parallel universe that exists alongside us that we just don't have the senses to see? And it seems like a very gnarly kind of question, but it's a real question because I do believe that, and after saying, proclaiming it was indeed a gnarly question, um, Daddy agreed. And he said that he has seen it while on mushrooms. Gotcha. And I have tried to get there using mushrooms. <laughs> and it doesn't work. And so, I, but I still believe it's real and I still believe that I can sense it and sometimes see it. And um, I, like, I believe cats can see it. Right, that's so true. Cause yeah. They're always like, "Whoa, whoa look!" And it's something whoa. you don't they're like. See. What? What is it? They're like, "Meow." Yeah. <laughs> what? And you're what? like, "What just what happened?" What are you looking at? So I, yeah. I believe it's real, and I believe that we're just limited in this world by the senses that we have as humans. Right. Like we acknowledge that dogs are colorblind. I talked about colorblind last time. Right. But like we can see colors. I think lobsters have 12 color cones, not lobsters, some kind of shrimp, a little tiny fucking shellfish has 12 color cones. So they can see colors that we can't even imagine. imagine. Yeah. And it blows my mind. And if there are colors that exist that we can't even fathom, then what the fuck else is existing yeah. that we can't see that daddy saw when he was on mushrooms. Right. And I, and I completely agree, you know, um, I've, uh, done mushrooms in, you know, my life and I've, you know, definitely seen things that I would never see, uh, on a normal basis, but I, I've never, um, I never did it to like actually sit down and, and find that place or, you know, that, I don't know, like I've always just, anytime I've done them, it was just to do them and you yeah. know, party. It wasn't like on my own or just like in a zone um, because I know that there's certain ways that people do that. I don't I don't know exactly what it's called. I don't um, know. <laughs> like, 
like when they're um when they like try to take a little bit of them at a time. They oh, microdosing. Oh, okay. Sorry. My, yeah, microdosing. I do know what it's called. Um, so microdosing is when you take a little bit every single day, and so it's in your system for an extended period of time, and it's supposed to give you access mm. and open up those parts of your mind that hold you back or. I don't know, that, like, keep you close-minded. Um, right. I haven't done microdosing, but I have done mushrooms. And I I think I have too high of expectations because I'm always like, yes, something's going to happen. The walls are going to ripple. Yeah. And then I'm just sitting there yawning. And I just, like, my, I have, like, a body high. And I'm like, oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> or, or you just sit there. I, I would just sit there like, oh, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> Like, I don't even know why I'm so exhausted, but I am. And it's like, I'm like, I need, I need like something to drink always. And you know, like I, it's just one of those things you have to have like smoke. I would have to, when I, probably the last time I've done them, I was a smoker, um, years ago and, um, I would ha always have to have a cigarette and a beer, like a cigarette and a beer on mushrooms like that it's just, I, that's, they go hand in hand for me and so all three of those are probably like out for me you know I, I'm I'm like maybe yeah. I'm not doing them right because I'm like I'm gonna sit outside in my backyard yes. or on my couch and then every time I'm like uh, okay yeah. what now try going to a casino and I'm like do something <laughs> crazy I got lost in a casino <laughs> And, and my Did people, car, my people were, like, weird. right there, and I was, like, crying, like, where are my people? And then Did one of my friends you? saw me, and he's like, your people are right there. And I was like, oh, <laughs> my bad. Here, let's get back. Let's have fun. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> and wipe my eyes and just, like. <laughs> I just couldn't see you guys. <laughs> well. <laughs> the carpets are loud. And they are. Oh, so no. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't done them in a casino or it's always like somewhere mellow. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's why mine have always been crazy. Right? Crazy. Like super crazy. I don't know. I Like I said, I expect high things from them. So then when I don't get super high, I'm like, oh, yeah. this is <laughs> stupid. <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just go in the kitchen and I like make really excessive like snacks or desserts. Yeah. Uh, like, do you want like the most complicated like, English muffin? Did you muffin? make this cake? <laughs> Basically, yes. I'm like, let's have a tea party right now because the walls aren't talking to me, and I need to do something uh, because I ate mushroom. Yeah. And so then I, I don't know. Everybody's always like, oh, what you're looking for is acid, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I know. So acid's I really, said, no, really bad and it's horrible it's like there's so many bad things in in acid at least like mushrooms it's like natural it's, it's mushroom it's natural it grows out of the earth oh okay so speaking of mushrooms yes i am very obsessed with mushrooms um i like them and i paint them and i forage them and i'm a little bit pissed that i live in southern california because i mean this part at least because there's not a lot of rain or mushrooms. And there was a year, year or two ago, I don't know, last year doesn't count, so I don't know what the fuck happened last year. Yeah, the, what, year, <laughs> what year? It was one of those years before 2019? This one, maybe. <laughs> and there was bluets growing on the hiking trails behind my house. And they're purple, Ooh. and they smell like orange juice. Wow. And so I picked all of them, and I ate them. And wow, did you eat them like right there? Or you no, them I cooked home them and cooked them. I cooked them Ooh. and made like a, a cream cheese sauce. I don't remember, some kind of white sauce. And I made them with pasta and homemade ravioli, and it was super bomb. And they were purple. They were pur purple mushrooms that picked, I picked out of the ground in uh, Southern California. So yes. that's just just random in the hills. Yeah. Oh my god, look, a mushroom. I'm going to take it home and cook it. That's I knew everything did. about it. I knew the gill structure and the smell and the color and, like, the bottom of well, the and that's, stock. And... That's the thing. When you know about things, then, like, okay, so if you're out in the wilderness and, like me, I would die because I don't know what any plants are. You could are. get a fish. I, could, <laughs> I can get a fish with my bare hands, but... <laughs> That's only if there's water. What if I'm like <laughs> in the forest and there's no like 
What if there's water. not a fish? <laughs> and there's no fish, and like I need to pick berries or I need to pick certain things. I would never in a million years know like what to eat or what not to eat. So that's where you would come in handy because you would be able to tell me, okay, don't eat that, or hey, yeah, you can eat that. Because I would just, yeah, I'd eat those little red ones, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the little red ones that used to grow everywhere when we were kids, I swear. And I'm like, where did they go? Do you they remember those little red ones? Yeah. They were just everywhere. They got rid of them, probably they were dying. Yeah, they're like eating them, like... Or maybe that was like one of the first uh, ways of getting rid of people. They plant these little red berries everywhere. The children will eat them. I mean, yeah. Because I remember, and you would like, they would be so gross on the ground. I don't know. I just remember them everywhere. But maybe, where did you grow up? Riverside. Okay. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I also remember a lot of um, trees that had like fuzzy... The fuzzy things. Like the fuzzy pink things. Oh, my mom was pissed. <laughs> I don't remember the name. I'm supposed to know. Oh. Sorry. I don't remember, though. And she's not watching. I like that <laughs> tree, though. It's a cool tree. There used to be it's, a lot of them. I know what you're talking about. The They're like... <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, like little I know what they are. They're like that big here. and they're all hanging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yes. like those. Oh, I like the birds, the, fuck the birds of paradise. Oh, me too. Those are the most pretty flowers or plants or it's a plant, right? It's, it's a, a plant. Flower. There's white ones. Is there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've never seen those. They have my Knott's Berry Farm, which is a weird thing I know. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they ever open. <laughs> oh. oh, Knott's Berry Farm, that place. They might be open. I don't like theme parks. I don't like people. Sometimes I like people. Um, I don't like being surrounded by people that I don't know. Yeah. Also, I've been shot, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whoa, that might do it too. I uh, I used to like to be around a lot of people, and now it's like I'll go and I'm around a lot of people, and I'm like, I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I get home, I'm like, I'm so happy to be here. I made it. <laughs> Me too. I never leave. Like, well, yeah. it's weird out there now. Like, I, that's why I like these type of worlds. I like, yeah. I like, um, you know, our Facebook worlds. I like FGWD. I like the bunker world. I like this world because it's just fun and, and you know, it's not so serious, you know? I, that's why I think Wonderland's amazing because you can just be yourself. You can just let it go and um, just... But throw your hands up and say whatever. Fuck it. Like whatever. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to like be able to live like this all the time. People don't do understand too. it. People don't understand it. Like I'm always super happy. I'm like hi, hey, at work, you know, here at home. I'm I'm always like good morning. My husband's like oh, I'm like, what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm really exhausting. I'm ex I'm really exhausting. I think I am too. Yeah. And then I get sad because people are dicks about it and they're like, yeah. gosh. And then I'm like, well, you're the one who sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, why aren't you so happy? And then uh, it's more when fun people. To be happy. It's just so hard to be serious. It's harder to be serious and mad than it is to just be happy and, oh, like, you know, when something happens, it sucks. But I mean, Look how far we've made it already, you know? I'm sure you've been through a lot. I've been through a hell of a lot. And um, some of these things that I get so stressed out about or I get, like, uh, about, it's, it's the smallest things worth nothing. Like, if it's not going to matter in, what, they say, like, maybe five, if it's, it's like not going to... Yeah, if it's not going to matter in five years, then it doesn't really matter at all. Don't give it five Yeah, minutes. then don't let it... Don't let it affect your life. Um... Yeah. Agreed. You wake up every day, too, and, like, you get to choose. And it's really cliche, and everybody hates to hear it, but, like, you wake up, and it's your job. You, yeah. I mean, yeah, you wake up, and you have to decide, like, how you feel. Because some days I wake up, and I'm like, oh, fuck. It's going to be this oh kind of day. My, my friend Kelly just told me yesterday, she said, um, you can either have a good day or not. It's your decision. And it's true. <laughs> 
true. <laughs> yeah. And it's stupid because, like, you want to blame everything. Yeah. You're like, well, there was traffic. Yeah, well, this happened and that happened and na na na. It's like, well, that's like, happening to everybody. Right? It's like, really happening to you're everyone. You're just the one being a bitch about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And sometimes I am the real bitch about it because it's like I, the stupidest things. Uh, like yesterday, I was out dress shopping. My daughter's getting married next weekend, and um, and I was out dress shopping, and I should have went dress shopping a long time ago because <laughs> I've known she's getting married, and I was mad at everybody else because they were taking so long, and because <laughs> I couldn't find the right dress and. And then I'm thinking, like, like you've had, like, a year to find a dress, and now you waited till the weekend before. It is now your fault, and now you need to just, like, reap what you have sown, pretty much. Yes. Take it. Take it, because you are the one who dealt it. <laughs> but at least you know it'll fit. Yeah. If you bought it a year right, ago. Right, if I bought it like, a year ago. <laughs> Especially see. with that 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working out so I know, much. So much. <laughs> Ooh, be like a sack. Yeah, so much. Speaking of. <laughs> a sack? Uh, no, a sack. <laughs> <laughs> no, speaking of working out. <laughs> yes, a sack. <laughs> I misunderstood. Are we going to hacky sack? We're going to weed sack? I don't sack. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got lost on sex. <laughs> I'm back. What are we talking about? <laughs> I was saying. Oh, and you got dresses. I did get dresses. I got two dresses. Cause she should give us a fashion show. No. <laughs> I I did buy two dresses, but I am gonna take one back. Um. I have not gone clothes shopping in um, a really a long time. I only wear dirty heads clothes and leggings. I'm about going to do that too because... <laughs> That's it. I'm going to tell you what, shopping now is just ridiculous. Because not only are you trying to find something and there's a lot of people and you're not used to being out there and you're trying to stay away from people and you're trying to keep your hands off touching everything yeah. you've got this mask on so you're hot and you're sweaty and you're walking through the mall with bags in your purse or one bag or whatever and just all of this and it's cold out so you have a jacket on and and now you're trying to look through everything with your mask and my glasses fog up and it's just <laughs> not even worth it. Like, I'm not... I'm, so pissed. I'm so mad. I can't buy dress! And now if I did this a year ago, I wouldn't even have had to have a mask on. <laughs> I would have just went shopping like normal and then I waited and <laughs> I really got... <laughs> like, life was like, oh, really? You're going to wait this long? We're going to throw everything on you oh man <laughs> i i don't know what i would do i haven't been shopping in a long time so i'm not good at stores they, well, do they sell ball gowns at costco no <laughs> <laughs> they probably do i wouldn't even doubt it right now like prom time yes <laughs> oh, that's true <laughs> like i'd like that one please <laughs> can i get some little jewels they would yeah um, I want a matching um, cake, too. To your dress? Yeah. Okay. So I can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> With you wearing your dress, they won't even know. You'll just go... <laughs> okay. Well, then that's going to happen. So, that was, it, was so irrelevant, we're... <laughs> but I just decided... A dress with a matching cake. So... That's perfect. You've lost your muchness. I never want to lose my muchness. That was something people said to me a lot of times, um, that I'm too much. And when, sorry, I just started talking. Um, <laughs> and I don't like it when people tell me I'm too much, even if they say it like nice and laughing and they're like, like oh, oh my you're God, too you're too much. much. And even if they say it like that, I still go, well, fuck you then. Huh. Or you're not enough. Yeah. And like, like <laughs> if I'm know. too much, you're not enough, you know, because I've been too much for like, really long time 
And then I just decided, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So. I think <laughs> I, I think that um, that is the problem with like society and everything um, is that people are always told they're too much or that's, you know, I, I don't know, like every creative thing, if you don't have a parent who just goes with your creativity and allows you to be who you are, if they're always constantly shushing you and constantly putting you like in your place, like that's, you're not, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, those, those people hold those things inside and, and then they become us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, my mom actually allowed me to be very creative my Mine entire too. life. Um, she always allowed me to be that extra that I always was. Um, I always dressed extra. I always, like, just always did everything a little bit extra. And I was always ashamed of it. I always thought, like, I was, like, a nerd or, like, not, like, not accept it for it. Um, so there was a lot of times that I would withhold it and I wouldn't allow that, that part of me to shine. And I think I held it in so long that now that I'm an adult and I'm older and I, and I know that this is necessary, it like, is. like your imagination and being creative and doing something with it and just, you know, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be to this extent, but you know, <laughs> what <I> extent? Mean... <laughs> <gasps> oh, <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> Anyways, continue. <laughs> Judged. <laughs> to this extent. <laughs> but, um, you know what I mean. It's just, do something. You know, do something that you want to do. Even if everybody else looks at you like you're nuts or you're crazy. You know? I Yes. Everybody has always looked at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. I have this story from high school. It's actually, I, I still love this story. And... Probably my whole high school could remember this story and go, oh my god, that was the worst. <laughs> um, I had this friend, Candace, and we were dyeing her hair one time, and we were like, so just sound, because we were teenagers, and just fucking whatever. And we were just at home dyeing her hair. Yeah. Regular. And she goes in the, I, mean, I don't know where we, the fuck we were, she goes in the bathtub to rinse her hair out, and the water was purple. And she just was going, oh, purple water! Oh! <laughs> And that, it was amazing and hilarious. And so, like, we would just go around screaming purple water at the top of our lungs. For, like, no reason at all. For a whole year. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody hated it. Nobody else was there. Nobody else got the joke. But it, it turned yeah. into everybody got the joke because everybody was so bothered by it. Yes. And so basically, um, the point of my story is I don't really care about yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't. Um, I think I think caring what everybody else thinks about you makes you like go into a shell or or become what everybody else wants you to become. And and that changes all the time. And yeah. how stressful must that feel? Yeah, always having to like what's trending Revert to what is happening now or what is going on um i just i'm over it, it i'm over hard. that i'm over trying to there was one <laughs> there was a moment where um some old friends of mine were like oh my gosh jesse you should go to this store i think it was tilly's you should go to the store they have all the clothes that you wear all the time <laughs> i was like and I went there and I looked and they did. And yeah. They were absolutely correct, but it was like sixty dollars. I was yeah. like, I don't ever pay sixty dollars for a shirt. I'm not paying uh. sixty dollars for clothes I already am wearing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already have that. <laughs> but it was cute shit. Yeah. So I'll give them that. Yeah, I like Tilly's. They have cute stuff. That was the last time I went there. Because <laughs> I saw I look at a price tag up there. But you don't even want to go there anymore anyways because the mall sucks, remember? And shopping sucks. And that's and why everybody's buying Costco. Every, yeah. That's why everybody's buying their uh clothes online and like shopping all that because nobody wants to go out there anymore. And they don't even have a good selection of anything anymore out there. It's like I'd rather go to the thrift store and get something unique. Yeah, that's fun too. Yeah. I like I mean, I don't even care that it, COVID happened. I still like the thrift store. <laughs> oh, I was like, what is going on? I get it. Yeah. Though. I mean, it's a little weird. 
Never know. Fuck COVID. Yeah. Um, 2020 was, life. I mean, it was like a stupid year, but it was still a year and everybody still lived it and a lot of good things did happen. So. Yeah, I don't think it was, I mean, it sucked because we weren't used to living that way at all, but families got to spend a lot more time together. Um, I actually was used to living that way. I, zero yeah. things in my life changed other than my kids were always home. But yeah. I was already always home to the point where I was going insane about it. And yeah. so I was like, oh, I guess I'm just crazy with you guys. <laughs> well, I mean, and, and for the families, though, that didn't, you know, the families that all they did was focus on work and sports. And I understand oh, stopping yeah. sports and stuff. But eating dinner with your family every night is a huge thing, even if that's the only thing you oh, do yeah. with your family. I think um, having having that time at night uh, where you sit down at the end of the evening, you all sit there, you have dinner together, even if it's a 20-minute dinner, that's where you can have your, your best family talks. Um, and, and, you know, I, I enjoyed it when the kids, when our kids were all teenagers, when we would do it, because just you really get to know your kids in that 20 minutes. Like I was... the little things that you, you just don't ask them about all the time. So That's you, really nice yeah. to hear because my kids are still little and dinner time is, my kids are those kids who are like, I hate all of this food, I'm gonna cry and throw it up. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> it's fucking chicken nuggets. Well, like, after. I don't even know what to feed you anymore. Just cry then. <laughs> yeah. Lottie's like, I like broccoli. So I'm like, okay, eat it. <laughs> Ew, I'm not gonna eat it. It's just really pretty on my face. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> like she's trying to be nice about yeah. it. But... So that's that's a good thing to hear. Yeah. I, sure. I do think that's the best thing though. Like at least like families got to really get to know each other. I mean bike riding, working out together, going, you know, just doing family things yes. that that everybody had to like take a minute and just slow the fuck down. And we all needed that. We all needed to slow down because I think everybody was on overdrive before this happened. We were just go, 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 go. That like, we didn't even think anymore. That's something that's always bothered me. Like yeah. I, I say it all the time. I want to move to the middle of the woods or back to Hawaii. I need to be on island time because I, I don't like that. Yeah. And this, I mean, the whole slowing down thing was cool. We all had a chance to like come back out different people than we were when when it happened and so we have this this way of either coming back out into the world um and sharing happiness and making and making people happy making the world a better place or coming back out and doing the same horrible things that people did you know and and it's so sad that we were given that opportunity and look where we're headed again i mean just we were all given the opportunity to make a difference in this world. I have major beef with all the single use products. <laughs> major beef with COVID, with single use masks, and what the fuck happened to the plastic bag ban? And, <laughs> sorry, you said something and I, I yeah. was about to rant. I won't get crazy about like the sea turtles and shit, but. That's okay. Like the paper straws, like everything disappeared because now there's COVID on it. And so now we have to have plastic and you have to throw it away in the trash immediately. And you can't even use a regular bag for your groceries. Yeah. There's no use crying over spilled milk. No, there isn't. But it does make me yell a lot. <laughs> it does. It wasn't me spilling it. No, we didn't spill <laughs> Can you hear it? Yes. <laughs> Why are you pouring it in there? I I'm gonna have some. I'm I gonna have some tea. A spot of tea. I don't know. I I feel like I just ranted and was mad, and I don't want to leave on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> Your tea looks really good. It's delicious. It's hibiscus tea. <laughs> And it's milk tea, and I don't want to drink it. <laughs> okay, well then. I don't want to be on that. Um, because we have kiwis. Oh, we do have kiwis. We forgot. 
We forgot to put fruit out yes. at our tea party. And you have to have a balanced meal with your biscuits and cookies and milk. <laughs> no? Oh my god! <laughs> you can do it! Oh god. Go ahead, juice my. Yes! Aha! If we would have started with the kiwis, you wouldn't have felt so inferior. <laughs> or, or I wouldn't have felt so inferior. Or whatever. I'm not going to eat them. Well, those were good. Mm, I was hungry. <laughs> I'm so full now. <laughs> Yeah, they're very filling. <laughs> okay, you were talking about um, how everybody can come out again as like a new version of yourself, and if you want to be different or better, you can. And I really like butterflies. <laughs> I really like butterflies too. All of my tattoos are butterflies. Right? I really like butterflies, and I I like the idea that you can just hunker down and like we cut like yeah it's cliche and stupid but we all did hunker down and cocoon at home yes. and you had that moment for a whole fucking year yeah. or whatever to think do you want to be a different version do you want to try this do you want to try yeah. that and you had the space and the opportunity to try different, different things, things. Yeah, like, and everybody was given that opportunity. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like just one person was given that opportunity. Everybody was given the opportunity to go in and think: Is this how I want to continue to live my life, or do I want to do something different, or do I want to be different, or do I want to, you know, live different? And it and some it doesn't people, matter what their different is. Yes, like okay, and some people were forced into different. Like right, I mean. How many careers just had didn't exist for a fucking minute? And right. Like, Still, there's a lot of career careers that just don't exist right now. They keep just taking them taking away, it, yeah. which is a weird ass fucking thing too. But even in that instance, you can still go. Am I gonna wait, or am I gonna do something different right now? Right. Because you can still do something different, like. Right. A job is a job, and yes, you have to pay your bills, so you need a job. Right, and and but. I'm not talking about like a, a, the the unfortunate of people losing their lives and and people being sick and and all of that. I'm talking about the the other side of it. The While side, you're home, the side of the people that are not sick, they are not having financial, you know, horrible difficulties. They're not going through, you know, family members passing away. The people that really just didn't have anything better to do at home and they're bored and you know that's who I'm talking about not not you know all the crazy sad things that happen. but even the crazy sad things yeah. even the crazy sad things you could learn and grow right? you're at home you have your time to process it you have your time to make a new plan yeah even the crazy fucked up sad things like yeah you get you got the time and I mean it doesn't mean it was a automatically a good time because when you're struggling you're struggling but when you get through it or if you weren't struggling and you're just home doing your part being home yeah what the fuck are you doing at home right and if you were like that asshole <laughs> like did you not think like maybe i shouldn't be that asshole anymore uh, just anybody <laughs> <laughs> you know like i don't know just I just, uh... You, you get to have a new chance, and... I mean, honestly, you don't need a year at home to reinvent yourself. You can do it whenever you fucking feel like it. You can change your house. You can rearrange your room. You can dye your hair. You can cut your hair. You right. can get a tattoo. You can just fucking wear weird-ass makeup if you feel like it for one day. But if you were like me, you didn't have time for those things. You yeah. know? At all. And so... I think with this also, it just it just helped me personally learn that my time is very valuable and I need to utilize it in a way that is going to benefit me first 
because the better I am as a person, the better my family is, the better, you know, the better I do everything too. So, so I feel like that, um, put your mask it, on first. Yeah. And I feel like I didn't, I didn't have time to see that that was important. And so now I do. And now like everything I do now is like, you know, to embrace the moment. Yes. You yeah. came out like a whole different butterfly. Oh, I'm not even like that same kind of butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it was a weird. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> You're pretty cool. So, I mean, you used your year wisely, which is like... Thank you. Everybody needs to do that. And so what we're saying right now is if you didn't, you can start now. Yeah, you still have time. Just go do that. Like, think of something that you want to do better or more or... And if you don't know how, you can always comment on our um, YouTube video and we can try to give you some ideas. Because we're full of them. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Yes. What do you want to do? Yeah. What do you want to do? And just remember, the secret to life. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, don't I was remember. like, what is what? it? The secret to life. <laughs> well, nothing's impossible. No. It's simply impassable. It is. Well, the secret to life is to surround yourself with people who make you smile. Oh, people who make your heart smile. Yes, that's right. People who make your heart smile. Your heart. I agree. Like this. But don't you? <laughs> <laughs> My heart is smiling. <laughs> and if you don't like where you are, move. Because you're not a tree and... You can't pour from an empty cup. And speaking of cups... <coughs> clean cup! Move down. Mm -hmm.